Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Marissa. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I am an Education for Life coach here at DSAH. Um, and this week, we have been talking about um, choices and interest. So this is kind of part of our like self-advocacy like series that we've been doing this month. And this is kind of like one of the very last products that we're going to kind of touch on as far as self-advocacy goes. Um, so choices and interests are basically just like talking about understanding the consequences that come with any of the choices that you make, whether it's a good choice or a bad choice, and then trying to make choices based on what you're interested in and um, understanding that your interests are important and your choices are important and being able to stand up for those things when you need to or when you feel like you have to, right? So, before we get started, as usual, I'm gonna turn on the light, hold on. Boom. Okay, so before we get started, we are gonna do our morning meeting that was done by Chris, who is our Education for Life ambassador. Um, he sent them to me every Tuesday night, so that I can have them for Wednesday morning. Um, so let's go ahead and start that. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. The weather is going to be a high of 94 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, looks like we're gonna have some wind coming in from the south at about five to 15 miles per hour. Our humidity is going to be 67 today so it's gonna be nice and sticky outside just like it always is in Houston right um, for lunch Chris says today it is your choice um, I think I'm gonna have rice and beans today with maybe some ground turkey what do you guys think you're gonna have for lunch today let me know in the comments okay um, for events Today is National Juice Slush Day. So if you have any juice at home, maybe your favorite kind of juice, try to put it in the freezer and see if you can make a slushy, because that would be really yummy. Um, today is also National Rescue Dog Day. So if you have a dog that you rescued from a shelter or from the Humane Society or any dogs that you have adopted, give them some extra love today and remind them that you appreciate them. Chris also wanted me to remind all of the um, E4L participants out there that tomorrow, um, May 21st, is going to be the Bloom Zoom at 11 a.m. and it's going to be a dance class. So if you are in E4L and you've already turned in your waiver, Make sure you tune in to the Bloom Zoom tomorrow, okay? All right. So, <clears throat> we're talking about choices this week, right? Um, so, how many of you guys have ever made a... How many of you guys remember what a consequence is for a choice? Anybody? Okay, so when we talk about consequences, consequences of a choice, it means that whatever happens after you've made the choice. So for example, if I choose to work out every day, right? And I'm working out really, really hard every day and I'm working on my fitness and I'm making sure that I'm working on my diet and stuff like that, my consequence would be that I would be healthier. Healthier than when I started, okay? So that's a positive consequence. A negative consequence would be if I did something like, let's see. Okay, we're going to do something really dramatic, okay? I don't do this, but we're going to do it really dramatic. So a, a bad consequence would be if I did something like I didn't pay for my rent for a month, right? So my consequence to that for not paying for my rent for a month would be that I'd probably lose my apartment, right? And so I wouldn't have anywhere to stay. So that would be a negative consequence, okay? So 
we have these options all throughout our life. Big options like that, like working out and paying our rent. We also have small choices that we have to make every day. So that can be like waking up and choosing what clothes you wear. Or waking up and choosing what kind of breakfast you want to have. Or throughout the day, choosing what you want to watch on TV. Or choosing um, how you want to how you want to get in your exercise for the day, right? So all of these things are choices that we have to make based on what we're interested in. Okay. So when I wake up in the morning, I choose to be in something that's comfy because that's my interest. I like to be comfy in my clothes, especially when I'm working from home, right? And because I know that I tend to move around throughout the day and I will do some exercises throughout the day. So I like to be in stuff that I can just go in, right? Um, so that, that is my choice. I make those choices every day. But we can also make choices that are not quite as small as like what we're gonna wear every day or what we're gonna have for dinner or what we're gonna, all those choices are kind of small, right? But they're not as big as the choices of like, am I gonna be healthy or am I gonna pay for my rent? Sometimes we make choices that are kind of in the middle, okay? And this is gonna kind of go back to the very first lesson when we were talking about self-advocacy and we were having to choose whether we were going to, <clears throat> we had to choose what to do in a situation where we felt like we needed to stand up for ourselves, right? So let's see. How many of you guys remember in that lesson when we talked about the stranger asking if they could give us a ride home, right? So just to kind of refresh your memory, we were at the park, we were walking, right? And then we were walking back from the park and the stranger came up to us and they said, hey, you shouldn't be walking home by yourself. Like, let me give you a ride home. And we said, no, right? Because I wasn't safe. So <clears throat> that was a positive consequence because we said no, so we stayed safe. But what would have happened if we said yes? What kind of, what, what, do you think we would have had a positive consequence or a negative consequence if we said yes to a ride home from a stranger? So this is kind of one of those choices where you don't really know what the consequence is, right? Um, so if you say yes, that you'll accept a ride from somebody who's a stranger, you don't really know what's gonna happen. You can't really say that, that they're gonna be a good person and make sure that you get home safely, but you also can't say definitely that they're gonna be a bad person and that they're gonna hurt you or anything like that, right? So during these kinds of choices and these kinds of situations, you want to make sure that you're making choices that you know will keep you safe and that will keep you having a positive consequence. And that positive consequence in that situation is getting home safely, right? So when we say no, we know for sure we're going to get home safely, right? There are other, other kinds of things like, let's see. Like choosing what your goal is going to be, right? So that's something that we did at Education for Life, was choosing what kind of goal we wanted to have, um, something that we wanted to work on every day, and who we wanted to work on that with every day. And like those kinds of things, those are choices based on what you're interested in, right? Um, okay, so now that we kind of understand choices, consequences, and our interests, I have a little game for you guys, okay? It's kind of a talking game, so if you're here and you're watching it live, leave some comments at the bottom, that way we can kind of interact with each other, okay? So I want you guys all to take a second, close your eyes, okay? And we're gonna imagine that we are gonna be stuck on a deserted island, okay? So what deserted means is that there is no one on the island with us, Okay, we are not gonna be able to go home right away. This is all pretend. This is that's what this what deserted means. It means that there's no one on the island. It means that we can't go home right away, and that we're gonna have a hard time 
or we're not going to be able to contact anybody, okay? So we're on this desert island, just you, just one person, okay? And I want you to think, what would you bring with you to a deserted island? What choices would you make to make sure that you have what you need on that deserted island? What do you think you would bring? So do you think you would bring things like, do you think you would bring your favorite toy? Or do you think you would try to bring some water? What do you think? Toys or water? I would say water. I think if we brought the water, we would make sure, we, our positive consequence there would be that we would be able to stay hydrated so we wouldn't be thirsty. And water is important for us to stay alive, so I would say bring water. Um, if we brought the toy, we might not have room for the water, so we might end up being thirsty, right? So we want to make sure that we bring the water, make the choice for the water. Okay, let's see. Would you bring, would you bring your pet, or would you bring something that you can hunt with to find food? Bring your pet, or should you bring something that you can hunt with? Ooh, Chris says that he would bring snacks and water. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're getting at, Chris, is that we want to make sure that we have food and water, right? Those are going to be the two most important choices that we can make if we were left on a deserted island, okay? Good, good job, Chris. What would your third thing be, Chris, that you would bring with you? So we have all the snacks and we have all the water. What's the next thing you would bring? I think I would choose to bring something that um, that I can build like a shelter with. So maybe like, <clears throat> let's see, maybe like a tent. Oh, like a tent. Yeah, my roommate said a tent. That would be good. A tent. So maybe some snacks, water, and a tent. Right. Then we have our three things that are most important for us to stay alive is water, food, and shelter, right? So these are all part, this is kind of a dramatic way to talk about it, but this is all talking about choices, right? So if we wouldn't have made the right choices and we were really left on that deserted island, then we may not have been able to survive as long as if we would have made the right choices, right? So choices are all about consequences, and making sure that we're doing things that we're interested in. So, to kind of wrap it all back around, okay, because I know we kind of went kind of wide around it, but to wrap it all back up, choices are part of being a self advocate because we have to choose what we think is okay and what we think is not okay, okay, especially for us. So, what you think might be okay for you, I might not think is okay for me. Right? And what I think is okay for me might not be okay for you. So that's part of being able to stand up for the choices that we make and being able to stand up for the interests that we have. That way we can <clears throat> use our voice to talk about these things and to talk about the things that are important to us and to, to talk about um, uh, making good choices and stuff like that, right? So like, for example, something that I, find really interesting and I always make sure that I have time to talk about it and part of the reason that we've spent almost a month talking about self-advocacy is being a self-advocate. I think that that is very important for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. So I always make sure that I have some kind of time or fit it into something throughout my day to be able to talk about it or I try to be the best self-advocate that I can be because that's interesting to me and that's important to me, right? So you guys, need, you guys should try to find those interests and those things that you feel really passionate about and that you feel are really important and make sure that you're making choices based on those kinds of things, right? Good. Okay, Chris, I'm going to do the morning meeting one more time and then I think we're going to cut the video, okay? All right. So today is May 20th. The weather is going to be a high of 94 degrees. The low is going to be 72 degrees Fahrenheit. 
there's going to be a south wind that's about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Humidity is going to be at 67% today. Um, lunch is your choice today. I'm choosing to have rice with beans and probably some ground turkey. Let me know what you guys are going to choose to have. Um, the events for today. Today is National Juice Slush Day. So try to freeze your favorite juice today and see how yummy it tastes. Um, it is also National Rescue Dog Day. So if you have a dog or another animal that you rescued from the shelter or from the Humane Society, give them some extra love today and remind them how important they are to you. Um, and lastly, for all of our E4L participants um, that have their waivers signed, tomorrow is the Bloom Zoom at 11 a.m. and it's going to be a dance class. Okay? <clears throat> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I do want to remind you to try to make good choices. Think about the consequences that come with your choices because every choice has consequences, right? So think about that. Um, and also think about some of the things that you're interested in, okay? See you next week. Bye.